Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with part two of our sweet ship that we're creating in SketchUp for Schools. Remember, if you need to find a way to get to SketchUp for Schools, I like to use hlmodtech.com, and you can use this link to launch it. Uh, my school has trouble getting it to stay in the approved apps list, so this lets us get access almost immediately. This project was already started, so we can simply hit the folder and open it. If you missed step one, I will put a link to how to get to that part of the video right up here. I'm going to double click on my SketchUp folder so I can find ship, MDH. Yours should have your initials. Let's scroll in and give the kids an entryway to our project. Start by finding the tape measure tool, clicking on that corner stretching it out along the red axis, and then type 10 for the distance that it moves away. Switch to the rectangle tool, click on that corner and stretch it out, and we are gonna make a 20 by four, so do 20 comma four rectangle. Use the push pull tool to push it in exactly 25 by pushing a little, letting go of the mouse, typing 25 and pressing enter. Switch to the eraser tool, get rid of that little line, and then use the rectangle tool to draw the area that we want to push out. We want to do a 20 by five, so type 20 comma five and press enter, then use push pull to pull that plank out 25 millimeters so we've got an awesome plank on our play ship. Let's make our play ship even more incredible by switching to the circle tool, picking somewhere near the back edge of our ship, and then it's asking for a radius of our porthole. I would like you to type six and press enter, switch to the select tool, and then double click that shape so you have the outside and the inside selected. Right click and choose make a component. We wanna name it porthole, And then we want to cut the opening and click OK. When you click the move command, go to the edge of the shape and that lets you snap to its center. When you start moving it, tap the control key and it moves a copy. Move to the front edge, click, let go, press the divided by key and then four and press enter it will drop all of those adorable little porthole windows immediately. Let's put two on the front side as well. These, we are just gonna move to the edge, click on one, do control, and move across to that side, just lining it up as well as you can. I'm gonna repeat that process one more time by clicking, choosing move, going to the edge, which lets me pick the center, click, and switch to control mode, which is copy, and set it exactly where it looks best to me. Here's where the amazing part happens. First, let's orbit back so we're looking at our first porthole. We're up nice and close, and we're gonna double click it. We are in the edit component mode. We need to switch to our offset window, and we need to add a cool ring. Drag a little bit, let go, and then type 1.5 for the actual number we really want. If you're looking closely, that just happened to all of our windows, which is pretty amazing. Switch to the push-pull tool and pull that outer ring out two, and press enter. Look at our awesome portholes now. All updated at once because they're an amazing component. Let's paint these with the materials and under materials, I want my windows to be made of wood. So I'm gonna scroll down until I find the wood options. And I'm gonna pick one of the woods and I'm gonna fill the outside edge, the outside edge, and the inside edge. So now I've got that wood all the way around, which is pretty nifty. To make it even more cool, I wanna add glass inside the windows. So pick one of your translucent glasses and then click that face and then look at that, you've got glass and if you look at the right angle, you can actually see inside your ship. When you're happy, select somewhere else and all of a sudden you've got your beautiful portholes. 
You can complete that same process to put them on the other side of your ship as well, if you wish. With our portals completed, let's stay in this materials section and find some cool colors to wrap up our ship. I'm gonna put some wood colors around the sides. And there you have it, a fully colored, awesome pirate play ship. With our cool colors in place, let's scroll on up and choose the components and find some amazing things to entertain the children. Start by typing SketchUp for schools and press and enter to see the cool items. Bring the first item out, wait for it to load, it may take a moment. It is crazy large because it was built in feet and inches, but let's click the zoom to extents and then choose the scale option. When you choose scale, click any corner and then type 0 0.05 for the measurement we want. We need to make it that small to fit our shape. I'm gonna scroll out and find where I set it, which is right down here. And then I'm gonna show you an amazing way to get it where we want it to be. Click on the Move tool, click on any part of it, stretch it a little bit, do the square bracket by the letter P, and then type negative 20, comma, negative 20, comma, and let's do zero for the height, close that bracket, and press Enter to snap it close to our ship. Now I can scroll in, and I want to take this corner and put it right over there. So while it's still in Move, I'm going to just click that corner and I'm going to move it to that other side and snap it right to the edge where I want it. If you want to be a perfectionist, you can orbit to look at it from the top and there are amazing little rotation handles that let you line it up even a little better. And snap that into place. Let's scroll out and take a peek. I'm going to use orbit so we can see it from a good angle. Not bad. And then from that same set of tools, let's bring in our cool steering wheel. I'm gonna just set it anywhere. I'm gonna scroll out so I can see it. I'm gonna use the shortcut for scale, which is the letter S. I'm gonna start it adjusting and type 0 0.05 again and press enter. This one showed up kind of close to my ship, but I'm gonna press the move key I'm going to click on an edge of it, and I'm going to do that same thing where I start moving it, but then I'm going to go to my bracket tool, and I want it to move to, I'm going to go 10 over, comma, negative 20, comma, 0, and do the brackets and press enter. It moves close enough to my ship that I can see it. I'm going to click on one of these points, and I'm going to set it right on the edge of my ship so that I've got it close to where I want, and then I'm gonna do that midpoint again and move it across on the face. Now you'll notice that is still quite large. This time I'm gonna click the shift button and I'm gonna just shrink it manually till it's how I want, pressing M to then move it into location, keeping it on that face. Let's do it one last time for the awesome slide for the children. When you bring that in, I need you to do a special trick to view it from the top. When you scroll out, you'll see the little rotation handle. When you rotate it, if you stay close to the middle, it's easy to get it oriented so that it's gonna come off our plank that we had the kids walk. Press S for scale. Start shrinking your shape and type that 0 0.05 again. Find your shape. Mine is way over here. Do M for move, click any part of it, because we're just trying to get it close. And with it wiggly, do your negative 20, comma, negative 20, comma, zero for the height with the brackets and press enter. I'm gonna do view extents to get back to my ship. M for move. I'm gonna choose the center of my slide and I'm gonna attach it to the plank. 
I'm gonna go back to the scale mode and I'm gonna shrink this side in. And I'm gonna leave that side the way it is. And now I've got an amazing slide and play ship that the kids can get on quite easily. As a quick bonus, let's add the awesome flag as well. Once again, bring it in. It will be crazy large, but we're gonna choose scale to make it smaller. Click any corner, type your 0 .05 and press enter, switch to move mode. Click back on the pole of that flag with it wiggly. Let's this time, let's do a new measurement for the flag. Let's go 10 comma 10 comma 80 for the height with our closed bracket and press enter. I'm gonna do zoom to extents. We can see right here, we are close. We are just gonna do one last move. And this time, we're gonna bring it out to the front of the ship. And you can click on your points and line it up so it is just the way you want. If you wanna adjust it till it's perfect, you may. I'm gonna just nudge mine a little bit to the right. I'm also gonna click on the center shape. First, I'm gonna do the select tool. Then I'm gonna click on my wheel and I want it a little more centered. So I'm gonna do move and I'm gonna click that center and I'm gonna make sure that it's closer to the center of my play ship. Friends, if you're in my school, this is where I need you to make sure you hit save and turn in a screenshot. Everybody else out there, you wanna save because you don't wanna lose your work. Friends, if you found this video useful, please hit that like button. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. And last but not least, if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech, hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.